Hello and welcome to today's video which is about, as you can see on the screen, imperativos. In English, imperatives. And the imperatives are often uh, explained as being orders or um, orders or commands and that's part of it. They're not just orders, they can be advice, they can be invitations. Um, so an, uh, an imperativo in English or in Spanish it could be something like come in <coughs> or stop talking or uh, eat up, eat your dinner. So this, these are all imperatives. And what we're going to look at today is the two form of the imperatives. So there are different forms of the imperatives in Spanish. In English, the imperatives are easy. We just use the infinitive. Go, eat, do, work. Don't go, don't do, don't eat, don't work. In English, it's easy. Spanish, it's much more complicated. So you have to, to take each ver, um, each person and to, to treat them separately. So we're going to start with the two, two form first and the positive imperatives, positive commands. Aquí tenemos un niño que no quiere comer. Su madre o su, su padre está diciendo que come. Come. So the boy's parent is telling him to eat. The imperative is come. Tenemos dos amigos. Y la puerta. Un amigo dice al otro. Entra. Entra. You see, the first one is kind of a command, an order. Second is not, it's like an invitation. Entra. The third one. Abre. El niño dice que, que quiere, quiere entrar, dice abre. So open it, open. So there we have three imperatives from three different Uh, three different verbs. We have come with an eor verb, comer, entra with an eor verb, entrar, and abre with an ior verb, abrir. So if we just look at that there, there, how do we make the imperatives for the two form? Well, we don't use the two form of the verb, we use la tercera persona, the third person. We use the, the, the el o the ella form, in fact, as the imperative. So, comer, come, entrar, entra, abrir, abre. And that's all the, the imperative is for the two form, third person. So, let's do some practice. Vamos a practicar. You want to tell somebody, work. So, the verb work. Uh, trabajar, so trabaja, of course, with the two exclamation marks. Once you say drink, Bebe. again, we're just using the third person, so play. Once you say. Juega. Run. You want to tell someone to run or advise them to run. ¿Cómo se dice? Correr is the verb. Correr. So you can see that you need to know the present tense. The present tense, third person. You don't know the present tense <clears throat> or the, the regular verbs, go back and, and look at the blog and the video for the, the present tense verbs, which is a few a few blogs before this. So you want to tell somebody to sleep. Duerme. Third person. Same over and over again. 
Right. Scrive. I'm putting in the exclamation marks just to show that it's uh, an imperative. So a little, a slightly longer phrase here. Call me. So we have a pronoun as well. Llamame. Comelo. So here we can see we've got uh, we've got pronouns at the end. A me and a lo. So what we do with the pronouns, we stick them onto the end, stick them onto the end of the imperative. Also, we need a little accent here to keep the, keep the pronunciation regular. So normally we say llama, but when we have the me, we have to put the accent in to, to keep the, the stress in the same place. So llama me, comelo. Write to me. Scribe. Again, the accent goes in, keeps the stress regular. And the last one. Clean your room. Un serice. Limpia tu cuarto. O tu dormitorio y tu habitación. Limpia tu cuarto. Again, it's just the third person. So, as always, we have some verbos irregulares. Let's have a look at some of them. We have the, ver the infinitives on the left here, and the imperativos on the right. We're going to match them. They're not matched. So let's look at tener. Can you see what the imperativo would be? You can guess. Exactly. Ten. Ten. Poner. On air is not there. Put it in. Pon. I forgot to put pon air in. Let's leave ear for a second because it's a little strange. So, Salir, can you see any imperative that might fit with Salir? An obvious one. Sal. Hacer. Can you see uh, the imperative for hacer? There we have. Haz. Decir. To say. Ti. The only one that could work. Di. Venir. As you can imagine, it's ven. And ear, the last one. Changes completely. Ear is a strange verb. Ear becomes be. Be is the imperative from ear. May not sound very likely, but that's that's what they use. So let's let's revise. Tener ten. Poner pon. Ir be. Salir sal. Hacer as. Decir di. Venir ben. Let's do a little bit of practice. If you can remember, ten air, what's the infinitive? Ten, exactly. On air. If you can remember. Pon. Ir. Be. Salir. Sal. 
Ah, uh, there. Again, pause the video and test yourself, see if you can remember. Ah. Uh. Decir. D. One good thing about these imperatives, they're all short. Venir. Okay, let's see if we can we can do some translation. Take care. Como se dice? Vamos a traducir. Como se dice en español? Take care. Take. So the infinitive here is tener cuidado. So take care. You want to tell somebody to take care. Using the verb tener. Ten cuidado. Put it on the table. Como se dice? Ponlo en la mesa. Do your homework. Haz tus de deberes. Tell me. Just one word here. Two parts to it. Two syllables. We use the verb decir to, to translate tell. Dime. And go out. Just one short word. Sal. Sal. So just below this video, at the end of the blog, there should be a link for more practice for this, the two form of imperatives. And coming up will be a song, a salsa song that you can listen to and fill in the blanks with other imperatives. It's a full of imperatives, the song. So thanks for watching today and see you soon.